Hey everybody, Laurel Devies, back with a new episode of Let's Play Pokemon Leaf Green. In the last episode, we ran all the way through Mount Moon and made a new friend in Bob. Now, I decided to battle all the trainers in Mount Moon off screen, so now both Miles and Olmec are at level 18 instead of level 16. Now, let's talk about the starter evolutions, shall we? When Bulbasaur evolves into Ivysaur at level 16, it gets a boost to its stats, as usual, as can be expected, but it gets less growth in attack and defense this time around. Well, it's learning to be more of a special attacker, so that makes some sense. Its physical appearance also changes, it turns more aqua in color, and it gets a flower that looks ready to bloom for its next evolution stage. Now Charmander, when it evolves into Charmeleon, gets the biggest buff out of the three in comparison. Especially in special attack and in HP. It turns a darker red and gets a crest on its head, and it has some sharp looking claws. Uh, Charmeleon's like my f the favorite one of mine. Uh, then Wartortle. When Squirtle evolves into Wartortle, it still remains the most balanced of the bunch, receiving equal stat boosts all around with only a slight increase in special defense, which will come in handy when we reach an upcoming gym. I just like to say, I just love the Generation 1 starters, the second one, the second evolution stage. They just look so cool. Anyway, back to where we were. We're now heading out to... Route 4. I'm not quite sure how climbing up the ladder got us outside of a cave, but I'm not gonna question it because we're finally back outside. Now there's only like a few things to say about Route 4 Part B. Here are these two guys. These guys are move tutors. They will teach your Pokémon either Mega Paunch or Mega Kick. <sighs> Sorry, trying to sound like Captain Falcon, and I'm failing. Um, they're just powerful normal type moves, uh, so they aren't really made for any Pokemon in particular, except for normal type Pokemon. But also you have to be very sure about which Pokemon you want to teach these moves, because move tutors will only teach a Pokemon a move once. Yeah, Generation 3 did not have the best move tutors by far. Uh, so I'm just going to ignore these guys right now, because I don't have any Pokémon that I want to have learn these moves. So moving down. At the bottom here, you notice that dark piece of grass. So... We got a Raspberry! Raspberries are kind of, well, I would say useless in this game. Let me show you. It can be ground up into a powder as an ingredient for medicine. Uh, there's like a special sort of way to make medicine, but only in this game, and it involves crushing berries. Uh, I don't really know anybody that actually does that, so I'm not going to cover it either. Now here's an item. It's TMO5 Roar. Roar is a move that scares off wild Pokemon when you get into a battle with a wild Pokemon. And it can also switch Pokémon in trainer battles. There's also a girl up there, but we can't talk to her right now. So... Let's get to the wild Pokémon on Route 4, shall we? There's only two new Pokémon this round, and they each are version exclusives. The Fire Red exclusive is a Pokémon called Ekans. Ekans evolves into Arbok at level 22. You might remember Ekans being... Ekans and Arbok being used on Team Rocket. Woohoo! Team Rocket. Best bad guys ever. Uh, let's see. It's a very balanced Pokemon in comparison to the other new Pokemon that can be found on this route. It has Shed Skin, which I love as an ability, which causes status conditions such as being paralyzed or sleep or poisoned to basically just fall off the Pokemon at the randomly at, a, at the end of a turn. And it's a poison type, Arbok and Ekans, which I always found was kind of underrated in 
like any of the Pokemon games. The last Pokemon that can be found on this route that's new is Sandshrew. Sandshrew is only found in Leaf Green and it evolves into Sand Slash when it reaches level 22. Uh, it majors in defense with a minor in attack. Sand Slash can be a good physical wall with enough power to bring down foes. Uh, the only thing that can be said against Sand Shrew and Sand Slash is that they're kind of slow in comparison and, well, to other ground types. And they can't learn any of the more powerful ground type attacks without using a TM. So keep that in mind, because in this generation, it cannot learn the strongest ground attack, Earthquake, in, in this generation without using a TM. So just keep that in mind if you want to use it for your team. Now that's the end of Route 4. So now we're in Cerulean City. Now let's see if we can quickly go through the sights. Up here is a little house that we can walk straight through. And one of these garden patches held a secret. We got a rare candy from this spot right over here. Let me exit this house. We have to walk inside. Mm -hmm. Now this is the way we actually get out of the city, but it's blocked off by this police officer here. The people here were robbed. It's obvious that Team Rocket is behind this most heinous crime. Even our police force has trouble with the rockets. Johnny Rockets? No, just kidding. <laughs> oh gosh, but yeah, but we can't get past there until after we beat the gym. And I'm not going to do that just yet. The gym leader here, Misty, has some pretty strong Pokemon. Her, like, strongest level Pokemon is level 21. So I'm gonna clear off the, like, routes up ahead. But we'll get to that later. Right here is the bicycle shop. We cannot afford a bicycle. Ever. Bicycles cost over... Well, bicycles cost exactly 1 million Poke Dollars or Poke Yen, as I'd like to think. And our wallet can't hold that much anyway, so we're just gonna have to find some other way to get a bicycle. Now in this house, this man right here, he wants to trade Pokemon. Hello there, do you happen to have a Poliwhirl? Would you agree to trade for my Jinx? Now Jinx is an ice psychic time, eh, ice psychic type, and it's the only one that you can find in this game! Jinx has an amazing special attack with great speed and special defense. Oh gosh. It still has, you know, the like usual weaknesses of ice and psychic types. But I usually find myself struggling fighting Jinx. They're just really unpredictable. I, in my case, might just suck at fighting like Jinx. But who knows. Uh, but you can only get this Jinx when you trade for with a Poliwhirl. Now we can't get Poliwhirl just yet, so you're gonna have to pass up on this trade. Unless you have a friend who's willing to trade you a Poliwhirl in order for you to get a Jinx. Hmm, but nah. <laughs> Let's see. I'm gonna heal at this Pokemon Center real quick, and then we're gonna continue onward. Actually, wait, let me look at my Pokemon. Level 18 now, yeah, like I said. Ah, that's right, Bob! You're still in our team. You gotta go into the PC box. This is the PC. This is where Pokemon go where you don't when you don't wanna carry them around. So I'm gonna move Pokemon, party Pokemon, I'm gonna pick up Bob and put him in the box. Goodbye, Bob. Have fun. Okay, I think my Pokemon are all healed up, but I'm just gonna make sure I heal up the PP. And ready to go. Now, before you continue going up here, which leads to Route 24... Hold on. 
Okay, looks alright. Just making sure that it's safe to save. Why am I saving? No particular reason. Ah, getting a sip of water right there. Okay. Just checking my bag again to make sure I actually have healing items. Okay. And a revive. Okay. No need to freak out. And forward. Yo, Jen! Hello, Gary. You're still struggling along back here? Excuse me? I'm doing great. I caught a bunch of strong and smart Pokémon. Here, let me see what you caught, Jen. Uh, we get a rival fight! We're fighting Gary! Oh, gosh. Ears are slightly ringing. Gary sends out his first Pokémon at Pidgeotto level 17. Wait a second. Gary! I call hacks. Pidgey don't evolve into Pidgeotto until level 18. What are you doing with a level 17 Pidgeotto? Uh, whatever. I have the wrong Pokémon out front for this as well, so I'm just gonna try my best. Sand attack. Oh no. I thought it grew out of this move. You can do it, Miles! Oh gosh. Using Gust, super effective. Whoa. Body shot. And Pidgeotto's down! Whew. And Miles grew to level 19. Great. Now Gary's about to use an Abra. I think I'll switch out Pokemon for this. Gary only has four Pokemon this time around, so I can just have one Pokemon deal with half the team and the other Pokemon deal with the other half. Ha! <laughs> what a fail! Ever use teleport in a trainer battle where it can't escape. Ever actually available on the next route, which we'll get to in the next episode. Critical hit. Olmec, you're so good at landing critical hits. And Olmec is now level 19. Ooh, trying to learn Bite, which is good. Dark type moves like Bite are special in this game. Uh, I think I'll get rid of Withdraw. Oof. Yay, now you can bite things. He's gonna send out his Bulbasaur, which is his strongest Pokemon on his team. I'm gonna switch back out for Miles. Roddy Shop it to the face, which I really shouldn't have done. That was stupid. I have no idea why Gary decided to keep his Bulbasaur at level 18. Could have evolved like two. Ugh, whatever, man. Gonna use a potion. This Bulbasaur is going to use Vine Whip now. That it learned it. Okay, now I'm gonna try Fury Swipes to. No! Fury Swipes has the worst accuracy. No! Miles, no! Aw, Miles. Aw. Miles just can't get a break. This is gonna be interesting. Okay, let's go for bite. Flinch! Ha! <laughs> It'll let you sleep powder and it miss, but flinch! Yes. Bite has the ability to make op opponents flinch as well, so that's good. Bite, flinch. Ah, oh, sleep powder, no. Sleep powder puts Pokemon to sleep, as can be expected. But I got an item for that, so I'm gonna use it right now. Awakening. Fine whip. 
Take it like a champ, old man. Mm. Water gun for style. Okay. Okay. Now Gary's gonna send out his last Pokemon, a Rattata. Mm. Let's see how I can do. Okay, didn't use quick attack. Let's tackle. Okay, this Rattata is not gonna be that big of a deal. For me, at least. Yay! Olmec took out most of Gary's team. Poor Miles. Hey, take it easy. You won already. Ha! <laughs> You're the one who gloats when you win, Gary. Hey, guess what? I went to Bill's and got him to show me his rare Pokémon. That had a lot of pages to my Pokédex. After all, Bill's world famous as a Pokémaniac. I thought he invented Windows. Sorry. He invented the Poké storage system on PC, too, which is why they're not Max. Since you're using his system, you should go thank him. Well, I better get rolling. Smell you later. No, smell you later. What? Oh, yeah, right. I feel sorry for you. No, really. You're always plotting behind me. So here, I'll give you a little present as a favor. Got the fame checker, the most worthless item in the game. A chatty gossip like you? That thing's perfect. I don't need it because I don't give a hoot about others. Alright, this time I really am gone. Smell ya! No, smell you, Gary. Okay, I'm just gonna head to the Pokemon Center and heal up Miles again? Poor baby. But, yes. Ah, uh, this is Laurels. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and thank you so much for watching. Let's play Pokemon Leaf Green! See you later!